All right, so I've been wanting to document the apartment, do a video tour of it before we start to dismantle it for the move, and that's going to happen any day now. So we are in the bedroom. I'll take a look in here so we can remember how it looked one day. These are some super cool lamps that I got made out of brass, I think, and they look like um, tiki's. They're supposed to be like totem poles. And if you look over here, there is the Christmas decoration that's up 12 months of the year because I have no place to store it. And going down here, here's some pillows you can buy on my Etsy store. Grady's Odds and Ends. Made the fabric and uh, my friend Toon turned them into pillows. So looking over here, it's a, a large painting I got. Oh, gosh like 15 years ago and scouting around you see lots of Grady originals so let's take a look I'm going to have to dismantle these to some degree to get them to ship so I'll have to remember how to put them back together yeah there's one some glass balls I made when I was a glass blower long ago and this is kind of one of my favorites. I like how that came out. And it's one of these Seuss's pieces. A photograph I got on eBay. There's another little guy in the corner. And I always liked her. Available on my Etsy store. <laughs> Shameless plug. All right, and then we move over to this piece. Quite sure what to do with this, but of course, you know, it lights up. Because why wouldn't it? So then we'll just go north a little bit to this piece. Which I really like those, all the characters in this. They're really fun. And that Fisher Price toy up there winds up, so it works. And we'll look over here. This is the piece I was working on most recently. It's not really done, so but it's coming along. I'm not quite sure. And there's a piece down here. This is a copy of a Picasso made out of Snapple labels. Can you imagine? Oh, I didn't do that. So that pretty much concludes the bedroom tour. I didn't get there. our cool little chairs in. All right. So now we enter the hallway. Or the gallery. <laughs> Let's see. So here is the storage closet that I was claiming was completely done about a week ago. And it pretty much is done, except for that we're having house guests. So I had to stick a whole bunch of crap in there. And that's a mosaic. I think Edelman is his name, called Rock Stars. I think you can recognize a bunch of them. And the bathroom, of course, there's art in the bathroom. So if we start out here, this is one of our Doolittles. It's reverse painted on a glass window. One of the ones I'm worried about um, surviving the trip. We'll see. This is by a graffiti artist called um, Night Owl, I believe. And I bet you can't guess who this one's by. There's another Grady original. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this piece. It's kind of large. And then next to it is another one that I've always liked. I love her face. She looks really bitchy, huh? Like she's just going to take that fan and smack you. And we go down. Another one, I've always liked her. She's a great little character for a piece. And if we go across the hall over here, this is by, it's called A Night at the Opera, I believe. I'm not sure who it's by, but if you saw the movie Milk, or the one, the new one with James Franco, this belonged to the James Franco character. Um, I bought it at his estate sale over on 17th Street um, many years ago. And there's a little oil painting up here that I've always liked. 
bought that in Provincetown many years ago. And another Grady, don't think I won't cut a bitch like you. I loved her face too. Look over here, there's a Brian McDonald piece. And Kara, Kara Judea, I think. And a couple of Michael McConnell pieces down here. And this is a wood block by Art Hazelwood. And another piece called Art Core by Night Owl, the graffiti artist. We love that piece. Very cool. And if we look back here, that's Bad Santa by Jason Messier. And there's a few other pieces below. This concludes our gallery tour. See, there's a couple of pieces here. Um, this is by an artist called Weed. Got that a long time ago. An unfinished piece by me. And we'll look into the kitchen. So the kitchen was white. Jesus painted it. I think it's like saffron and marigold or something like that. It grew on me. Didn't like it at first, but I think it's great now. As you can see, there's lots and lots and lots to pack up. This is a teeny kitchen, and we've done Christmas dinner for 20 in here over the years. Oh, more art. That's by a guy named Mikey Welsh. I think he was the drummer, maybe, for Smashing Pumpkins. And he, I think he killed himself a couple years ago. Another Grady original. Imagine. It's huge. <laughs> I'm really going to have to take this one apart. But fortunately, I can take it apart and put it back together. And over here, plate from Mexico. A Matt Frederick piece I always liked. We'll go out into the living area. So on this side, we have Debbie Reynolds by Jason Messier. Some smaller pieces. This is a great mirror I got from my friend Sari. I think we traded something for that. I don't remember what it was now. And we got some fun things over here. We'll keep our family pictures. Love these lamps. There's the other lamp over there. This is a gigantic mirror with a really cool carved top. Um, this is another thing I'm worried about breaking in transit. I guess all I'd have to do is replace that. So. Jen Grady, recognize it? Well, that's a little ceramic piece too. Got that at Art Trades auction a long time ago. This corner, big mirror, helps keep the room nice and bright. And a hornet's nest, of course. Next to the creepy lamp I made out of an old Cupid doll carnival prize. We'll swing around here. This is a wingback chair that was red leather when I got it, and I had it reupholstered. Did a great job. And we'll look at the other side of the living room. Not bringing any plants with us. So we'll wander over here by the fireplace. This is a Brian McDonald piece. Got that many years ago. Once again, the Art for AIDS auction. Here's the Doolittle. Another reverse painting on glass. Salvador Dali. And another Doolittle. So it's the Doolittle Dali corner. Move over here. Oh, this is a great uh, Sharon Virtue ceramic piece. Bought from her a long time ago. And look, it's another Grady. Lots and lots of Grady's. How Jesus manages it. <laughs> and this one is supposed to be an airplane, in case you didn't figure that out. 
I'm going to have to take this apart probably into three sections in order to transport it successfully. And there's a cute one up here. Let me swing on over. This is a light box by Kara. Thing weighs a ton. It's like the heaviest thing in its apartment. And I've moved it so many times. Uh, some more pillows that you can buy in my Etsy store. If you notice, she's the one that's in the Alcacha piece. And this is a funky chandelier. The pink love seat I got on Craigslist that started all of the pink in the entire apartment because there was no pink in here before that. There's a little coffee table with Jesus's computer. The fireplace. And I believe that concludes the tour of the apartment.